Well, here's some news you might have missed if you're not reading the Business Courier online every day. Some big changes for Metro will require big budget adjustments. Last week, we told you about the new long-range plan, which includes six bus rapid transit lines and routes that circulate in neighborhoods rather than ending up downtown. This week, we learned to make that happen. The additional cost would be up to $80 million a year, a two-thirds increase to the current Metro budget. Metro's current operations and capital budget is $118 million, the bulk of which comes from a 0.3% city income tax and fares. Metro is calling the figures extremely preliminary. The manager at Lunkin Airport says a new carrier, Allegiant Air Express, would be a great fit for the small airport, but some nearby residents are not so fond of the idea. Allegiant Air flies 150 to 177 seat jets out of Lexington, Columbus, and Owensboro, Kentucky. Its bigger planes bring a little more noise and an increase in commercial service traffic. An Allegiant spokesperson acknowledges there is interest in Lunkin, but at this point, nothing is definite. Cincinnati drivers may hate sitting in traffic on I-71 and I-75 as they commute to and from work, but they don't have it as bad compared with other metro regions. Cincinnati was the 48th most congested metro area in North America, with drivers wasting nearly 11 hours a year sitting in traffic, according to a recent survey. The five-mile stretch of northbound 75 from I-74 to Paddock Road ranked in the 150 top congested corridors. It took drivers 12 minutes at an average speed of 25 miles an hour to get through that stretch. It should take about seven minutes with good conditions. L.A. drivers face the worst conditions in North America. They wasted 60 hours a year parked in traffic. The 45-acre John and Philip Smale Riverfront Park is steadily taking shape on the banks of the Ohio River. Over the next few weeks, more phases will open to the public, including the Duke Energy Garden, a new river walk path for bikers and pedestrians, and an area with porch swings that face the Ohio River. The $120 million project will be fully finished in 2017. You can check on its progress through some beautiful photos by visiting our website for a slideshow by photographer Bruce Crippen.